everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And it is official. The 50% off Criterion Collection sale has begun over at Barnes & Noble. So of course, last night, I had to run up there and see what I could find. I also found out that the Kino Lorber 50% off sale is still happening. So I have one Kino title plus some Criterion Collection titles. So let's not waste any time at all. Let's dive right in to my Criterion Collection and Kino Lorber haul. So I'll start off with the lone Kino Lorber title that I picked up, and this was a little bit of an impulse buy because I went there obviously for Criterion titles, but fortunately they still had a bunch of good options with Kino. I decided to pick up Misery on 4K. So you can see the price tag there, $39.99, so I got this for $20. And this is one that I don't have in my collection on a boutique label at all. I think I have like a standard Blu-ray behind me, but I've been meaning to grab the Scream Factory Blu-ray for the longest time. Didn't end up doing that, so I figured, you know what? Let's just pick up the 4K here from Kino, because I've heard great things about it, and this is a fantastic film. If you've not seen this, I highly recommend it. Of course, it is based off of the book of the same name, written by Stephen King. I have not read the book, but I do love the movie. I've seen this once, uh, two or three times in the past and really enjoy this. James Caan and Kathy Bates are just fantastic together. So highly recommend this one. Now I have no idea when the Kino Lorber sale ends. Frankly, it might be over by the time this video goes live. I don't know, but check your local Barnes and Noble to see. So this is the one I picked up from Kino. We have Misery. I know I didn't talk about this in the intro, but I'm also going to include a few titles I grabbed from Disc Replay from the Criterion Collection recently because they were sitting over there for another haul video, but I figured, you know what? This is a perfect time to talk about them. So these next three, I actually found used. So even cheaper than the sales price. All of these were around 12, 10 to $12 each. So really good price on these. But the first one here I picked up is Tiny Furniture. So this one is from 2010. It is spine number 597, directed by Lena Dunham. So not seen this one before, but whenever I find a used Criterion Collection title for a good price, I always pick it up. This is the Blu-ray version version and it is complete, has the booklet with it and everything. So yeah, this was a no brainer. I know Lena Dunham, I believe she got real popular with her movie or with her TV series Girls, but I've not seen any of her work before. So no idea how this is going to be, but I'm excited to add another one to the collection for cheap. This is Tiny Furniture from 2010, spine number 597. This next one I found is one that I've always been interested in, but I never ended up pulling the trigger. I'm really glad I found it for this price though. This is Black Narcissist. So this is from 1947 and it is spine number 93, which I'm sure you can't see there, but yeah, this is about a group of nuns who end up trying to establish a, I think it's like a convent in the Himalayas and things are going to kind of go awry from there. It says on the back here, like isolation, extreme weather, altitude and culture clashes all conspire to drive the well-intentioned missionaries mad. So sounds interesting. There are some elements here that I'm very intrigued about. And another one that is uh, fully, you know, it, it includes everything, including the booklet. So very intrigued about this one. I hear the cinematography on this look Looks incredible. So very excited to check out Black Narcissist from 1947. And this one is directed by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. Should be a really good one. This next one is a recent 4K upgrade, but this is the Blu-ray version, so maybe somebody upgraded and just traded in their old copy, but this is a film by Jean-Pierre Melville, and I picked up the other one, or one of the other ones he has in the collection on 4K last sale, but this one is La Samurai. So I've heard really great things about this 1967 film, spine number 306. Like I said, heard great things about this one, so very excited to check it out. I decided to go with, I think it was Le Circle Rouge, if I'm not mistaken, last time uh, during the July Criterion Collection sale. Have not checked that one out yet on 4K, but definitely want to watch both of these at some point. So excited to check this out and see if it's as good as people say. This is La Samurai from 1967, spine number 306. All right, so let's move over to the new titles I picked up from Barnes & Noble last night. And this is one that I walked in, not with the intention to pick up, but I ended up coming out with it. I actually, there's one other one I was trying to get, they didn't have it, and I ended up grabbing this one kind of at the last minute. But it's a film that's been on my list to check out 
for quite a while now. Somebody recommended this in one of their videos. I want to call out Kenny over at Kenny's Movie Palace. It may have been him, but if not, I apologize. But somebody said it was one of their favorite concert films. This is the Martin Scorsese film, The Last Waltz. This is from 1978, spine number 1,118. And like I said, supposed to be one of the best concert films ever made. This is The Band, the infamous group, The Band. This is their one of their last concerts, I believe. And uh, yeah, so it's supposed to be just a great release. Not only does this have the 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, but it also has like the original, I forget where it is, 1978 2.0 surround mix as well, plus an uncompressed stereo mix from 2001 so multiple uh, audio options on this one which is really cool to see so I decided to take the blind buy on this and hopefully it's as good as everyone says it is this is the last waltz from 1978 spine number 1118 the next two are brand new releases from Criterion, and there's one more that I still want to get, but I'll talk about that at the end here. So I'll be completely honest. When I picked this up, for some reason, I thought it was a Blu-ray, and as I was sitting here, I realized, nope, this is the 4K. So I'm really glad I picked up the 4K of this because I was thinking it was only on Blu-ray. But anyway, this is a double feature of the Val Luton film. So we have I Walked with a Zombie from 1943 and The Seventh Victim, also from 1943. So this looks like a really stacked release. There's actually a full documentary on here about Val Luton from, what year was it, 2005, called Shadows in the Dark, The Val Luton Legacy. So that was one of the big selling points on this. And I always try to get all of the horror movies from Criterion, so this was just the other, the next one that I needed. I don't have everything yet that's horror from Criterion, but I do have most of it. So yeah, very excited to check this out. I've heard great things about these films, so... Very happy to have this one in the collection now. This double feature here, this is I Walked with a Zombie and The Seventh Victim, both from 1943, and this is spine number 1,236. Last but not least today is another new release. So this is spine number 1,238. I picked up Gummo from 1997. So the reason I grabbed this one is because it is the debut film of Harmony Corinne, 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 I guess I don't know how to say their name, but uh, they are the director of Spring Breakers, which I absolutely love. I was a little bit obsessed with that film back when it first came out. I loved it. So very intrigued to see this one. I don't think there's going to be a lot of similar elements, to be quite honest. This one is supposed to be just one of the weirdest films ever made, from what I hear, uh, but it's shot in Corinne's native Nashville, and it is a Southern Gothic in the tradition of William Faulkner and William Eggleston. So, it's supposed to be very weird, which I'm all on board for. So I don't know if I'll uh, enjoy it, but hopefully, if nothing else, I will appreciate it. And I'm very excited to finally see where Harmony Korean got their start, because like I said, love Spring Breakers. So yeah, very interested to check out Gummo. This is from 1997 and spine number 1,238. All right, so six from the Criterion Collection and then that lone Kino Lorber title on the bottom there. That was actually my first trip to Barnes & Noble since they started doing the Kino Lorber sale. So I got really lucky. Definitely check your local store. Maybe it's still going on. I'm not entirely sure. It may have ended on the Saturday, whereas Sunday typically kicks off new deals, but not a clue. Hopefully it's still going on though and you can take advantage. But there is uh, two more that I want to pick up. One of them is already out and uh, they just didn't have it at my local store, even though it said it did online, but you guys know how that inventory system works. It just doesn't most of the time. So that one I do need to pick up still. And then there's another one coming out at the end of the month that I definitely plan on grabbing. So I'm not going to say the titles because I'll show them in a future haul video, of course, but you probably have an idea of what I'm talking about based on, you know, the channel and what I like. So anyway, let me know if you guys are taking advantage of the sale this weekend. Are you holding off this time? I'll say in July, I always go hog on it, but in November, I always go much lesser. And so I'm expecting that to be the case here again this year. Like I said, there's really only two more that I really know I want to pick up. So we'll see where the rest of the month takes us. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking this out. But leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. Before you guys take off, I just want to encourage you all to consume some media today. Thanks again for making it all the way to the end here. I really do appreciate you. And I will catch you all next time.